Hi, I'm John Huber. I want to talk to you a little bit today about the situation in Hawkins County, Tennessee. If you're not familiar with what's going on there, very in a, just a, a long story short, there were a long list of um, allegations made um, of racially motivated uh, bullying, harassment, etc. And according to an, a lawsuit from a parent, the school system did not take any action. The, the, um, the DOJ did an investigation and f found that as well. They found that according to their language, the school acted with deliberate indifference. The system has now um, entered into an agreement with the DOJ and is now um, implementing a variety of, um, of programs and, and, and resolutions to help solve the problem. They disagree, however, that the school acted with deliberate indifference. So what can we learn from all this? First, I would suggest that you go and read the um, read read the lawsuit, read the original lawsuit. It's um, there's some really really disturbing incidents that went on, and if this is true, if it's the way that the parent has that it is presented in the lawsuit, um, <laughs> they're, 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 it's very difficult to imagine. However, my sense is what happened was I feel that the administrator probably got drawn into a, we have to prove this beyond a reasonable doubt before we can do anything about it. So if you have one kid that says one thing, another kid that says another thing, then they kind of, well, there's really not a lot we can do. That's not always necessarily true. Now, I don't know what the laws are in Tennessee or what the, what the um, discipline procedures are in Tennessee, but I can tell you that for the most part, schools have a lot of liberty to act as needed. So when you as an administrator are presented with these sort of things, you have got to act immediately. And if it comes down to believe in one person or another, you have to believe one person or another. You're like the jury. They said you, you're the finder of the truth. You have to decide who's telling the truth. You have to ask yourself, is this person making this up? Um, and you have, to, you have to go in there and you have to make those decisions. You have to apply that discipline. If that were done, um, something tells me that... Um, we, we would be looking at a different uh, outcome. And if you look at the situation, you say, well, there were just a handful of, of kids. There, it was racially motivated, bullying, harassment type of behavior. There were like four black kids in this school, at a school of like 400. Um, something tells me that they, the, the administrator kind of thought, well, if I go in there and start suspending these kids, who knows what's going to happen afterwards? You're going to have to deal with that. You know, that's what you're going to have to deal with. Um, so I would encourage administrators, when you look at situations like this, remember, you are the finders of truth. You have to make the decisions. And um, I think administrators need, need some training on that. They need some training on looking at situations like this and deciding how you're going to act. What, what are you going to do? So anyway, um, look at the situation, Hawkins County, Tennessee, I think the, I can only hope, anyway, I can only hope that um, they did not act with deliberate indifference. I can only hope that the behavior that is alleged in this lawsuit is um, as disturbing to them as it is to me and to the overwhelming majority of those of us in education. Um, I can only hope that to be the case. And I hope that they're not acting with, with deliberate indifference. And I would hope, there's a lot of hoping here, <laughs> I would hope that they would take this as an opportunity to address this. But remember, part of the, the means of addressing this is to address the administrators and say to the administrators, you have to decide, you have to make a decision. You have to act as needed. And you don't need beyond you don't you know it's it's the uh it, it's the dna effect the, the 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 csi effect you don't need that fingerprint in blood in order to take action you have to take action and when you do that i think you will um you will find that a lot of these types of situations will it, it, it it's still gonna be very tough at school levels no question but you also realize that these types of situations will begin to slowly um rectify or they will begin to become easier to manage in the long haul. I would also tell you that um, as an administrator, whether you're an assistant principal, principal, um, a, a 
superintendent, whatever. Um, when a parent comes into your office, you have to address that situation regardless of how the how you perceive the parent is. For example, if a parent comes into your office and says that she's there or he is there because their child was harassed and they seem like they're very nice, they're 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 nice uh, engaging people, they understand your position, they say and you kind of say, "Well, you know, this is a tough situation because I'm, you know, I'm, you know," and they go, "Oh, that's okay, not a problem, Mr. Uber." And then they leave. Don't think for a second that those people aren't going to run and go right to a lawyer, go right to your boss or whatever. So the situation is you have to approach every situation the same, regardless of how the parent is, is acting in, in that meeting. You need to be professional and you need to take everything very, very seriously. And I can only hope that the situation in uh, Hawkins County, Tennessee, um, will will resolve itself in a, in, a, in, a, in a positive manner. And those kids who perpetrated these acts will be held uh, severely accountable. Anyway, I hope, hope this helps. If you need any, uh, need any guidance or, or help with any of this, I'd be happy to talk to anyone individually. So you, you feel free to contact me. Anyway, thanks. Have a great day.